I am done. very impressed with the skill of some of these. Yeah, I guess this is the print, primitive hunting movement with spears and. <sighs> See, that's. <sighs> I think you should. I think you should be really careful about anything that you do that's not that accurate. That's that's an issue. Yeah, it's a giant issue. And but bows are extremely accurate. Right. I mean, there's guys that can shoot a paper plate at 120 yards every single time. They could shoot a, a like a little plate like that. They'll they'll bet their life they could drop an arrow into that at 120 yards every single time. You can get good at that. You can get if you have good technique and reasonable control of your emotions and your anxiety. Sure. In the heart, in the heat of the moment, you don't ever shoot anything at 120 yards. Though you're shooting at things 30 yards, 40 yards. And the degree of success is very high with skilled hunters. If, if you, they're ethical and they're shot, yeah, yeah. they're shot decisions. Th that primitive stuff is like, why? Why are you throwing spears? Like, what? Are, what are you doing? You trying to prove that you're better than people that use a bow and arrow? Like, this is not an accurate or effective thing. I mean, it kind of is, but you have to be like five yards, ten yards. Like, what do you got to be? Fifteen yards max? Even then, I like, think part of the thrill of it for them is putting themselves in danger. There's a little bit of that. If you're shooting, oh, you're, you're going after a bear? Yeah. Like I've seen some of these things filmed where the person looks like, you know, they're up in their, I don't know what to call it, their little... Tree stand. Tree stand. And that doesn't look like they're putting a lot of risk. But some of these people are clearly getting off on, this is the primal hunt, right? And, and this is, they're going backwards into something where the, the animal could surprise them. And... What I what I wanted to do is I wanted to reacquaint myself with you know now that I can I can watch somebody actually in that moment um, try to figure out what my ethics around hunting were and I had thought that I had prepared myself and I just I thought when I when I saw you um, find out where Joe is um, because I have no question knowing your ethics and how you think that you would have a very subtle perspective on all these different kinds of kills, which sorts of animals. Yeah, if you get to spears, yeah. you're in a weird place. Like like you say, oh, I only spear wild pigs. We're trying to get rid of them anyway. Okay, well that's, we're in a weird place. We're in a weird place. Because uh, ethically, I think you have two choices, three choices. Your three choices are rifle, which is number one, ethically, realistically, because if you shoot something with a rifle, you, you can be really accurate, uh, uh, like out to 100 yards 100% of the time. Like, unless it's crazy windy out or there's some weird conditions, altitude can affect ballistics. But not that much. Out to 100 yards, you're fucking deadly if you have a really good control, squ squeezing the trigger, you're not jerking everything, you're not panicking. Then bow is second. You know, a bow, it requires way more practice, way way more uh, fine-tuning of your motor skills, but it's still possible. Okay. Then you have crossbow, which is even more effective than a bow. Faster, uh, more feet per second, faster feet per second so that it, it travels at a flat line because it's going quicker before it drops. They all drop at the same speed, right? Bullets and arrows all drop at the same speed. They just don't get, get there at the same speed. Okay. So in the same amount of time, like if I'm shooting something at 100 yards in, with a bow, I am aiming with, with a sight that is calculating for the fact that the arrow is gonna drop significantly in the time that it takes, if it's going 280 feet per second is like a normal speed for a good bow with a good heavy arrow, that's 280 feet per second that goes 100 yards, okay? A bullet, is going to go 100 yards far quicker. But in the same amount of time it takes that arrow to get to that target, the bullet is going to drop the same amount as the arrow. Yeah. And that's what most people don't understand. Mm -hmm. So a crossbow is more ethical because it's more accurate. It's, it's have fewer moving parts. You could actually sit it on a rest and just squeeze the trigger. Easier to manipulate. And the, the arrow is traveling faster, so, or it's called a bolt, traveling faster so it'll drop less. After that, shit gets squirrely. Okay. After that, it's like you're throwing spears. Okay, you got what do you got? An atlatl? Okay, all right. Well, you can kill things with it, and people have done it, but it gets to like, uh, how accurate are you, and it, what is what's your ethical range? Right. Like an ethical range for a really good hunter with a bow and arrow is probably 80 yards, 
Maybe it's a moose, 90 yards, something big. But with a spear, like, what do you got? You got 10 yards? So, you know, why? That's the question. Well, that was the- Are you doing it for meat? Are you doing it because um, is this your Mount Everest? You want to kill a pig with a spear? And are you saying that a, a pig is not worth as much, so you should be able to kill it with a spear? Because these are all weird. These, these are, are all weird, weird decisions. Right. They're weird decisions. Yeah. And people make those with bears. They make those decisions with black bears, like people that live where they they consider them nuisances. Right. They 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 kill them. I mean, they used to be used to allow them to shoot. Uh, used to allow to hunt. Used to be allowed to hunt black bears with a spear in Alberta until a, a big scandal a couple of years ago, where a guy filmed himself doing that. He, he shot a bear, or he killed a bear rather with a spear, and was hooting and hollering, and and people pro- got a hold of the video and thought it was disgusting, and and protested it, and yeah. then uh, people uh, from Under Armour dropped his uh, wife from their, you know, they had this sort of uh, sponsorship deal with them. And uh, it 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 ignited. It caused a rift in the hunting community. Some people think you should be able to hunt with a rock. I don't right. care what you hunt with. You should be able to hunt with anything. And other people are like, hmm, okay. But what are we doing? Are we just going out to get meat, or are we putting on a macho performance of our ability? Okay, this is exactly what yeah. I wanted to get at, mm-hmm. which is, if you know that a population has to be controlled and you want the meat, yeah then it makes sense to me that you have to open yourself up to some of the pleasure of the kill. That makes some sense. But what I saw just like flipped me out because mm-hmm. it, 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 it wasn't, wasn't a spear? It, was, it was above and beyond. Yeah, I saw a spear and, yeah. and other things. Yeah. And, and, you know, I was impressed by the, some of the skill. I was impressed by some of the bravery. But it's I understand, like why? But like why? Right. right. Yeah. Are and you then, just and doing then, it to population control? Are you doing it for the meat? This was the surprise to me. Yeah. I, got, I got kind of sickened by it. That's not surprising. It's not surprising, you know. I mean, I think if you if you were there, you'd probably be even more conflicted because you actually were there in the presence of the thing dying. Yeah. You know, watching a bear die on a video is one thing, but being there alive when they die is a completely different thing. Um, it's 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 a very complicated thing because we have these deep set emotional connections to certain animals that my friend Steve Ranella, who's going to be actually on tomorrow, he calls them um, charismatic megafauna. Yeah. That we have this different view of certain animals, bears in particular. But if you use the animal respectfully, respectfully, and you kill it ethically, and you do, I don't have any problem with hunting bears. And in fact, I think it's actually a necessity. A nece- it really is a necessary task. It, it's something that even if you don't like to hunt bears, if you're living in a place like Alberta, you probably should hunt bears because you should do your part. There's right. a lot of them out there, and you know one of the things that becomes uh, an interesting relationship is the relationship between the moose hunters and the deer hunters and the bear hunters. And that they have kind of those smart ones have come to an understanding that even if I don't hunt bear, I need those people out there doing it. Okay, but it's. How do you do it and why are you doing it? I think you, I've seen animals die very quickly with a bow and arrow. They die very quickly. I've never seen an animal die with a spear. I don't think it's necessary. But I don't want to be the person that tells you you can't do it. If you have an ethical range of five yards and you only hunt bear with a spear at five yards and you kill it immediately, you hit it and kill it, you're right. Then you're right. Yeah, it's not based on the method. It's based on... What what are the ethical parameters right. around the kill? I appreciate and that. And also, I would kind of be a hypocrite because even though I can ethically kill something at 40 yards or f- just figure out what the number is depending on the size of the animal, right. um, even though I can do that, I could do it way easier with a rifle. So why yeah. am I using a bow and arrow? Why do I want to make it more difficult? Why am I making it more challenging? Why am I requiring myself to practice But, but you're asking more? these questions. You're very self-aware. It's a very important question to ask. Yeah. Because if I was just doing it just for the meat, I would probably I use a rifle. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I think that that, that that part of it has to do with the primal association with the kill. And then the key question is how do you want to indulge that? What is the set and setting? Blah, blah, blah. So that was the, that was the thing that I found shocking is, is that I had thought, you know, I understood something about the need to control population. Mm-hmm. It's the affect which really killed me on yeah. this thing. Well, again, we're talking about bears. You know, it's not just bears. Other animals as well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I saw. 
I don't, I don't want to mo- focus more on it necessarily, but it's just a question I had to ask you because I sort of I was very surprised by my own reaction. Well, a lot of people are taking issue. My good friend Ben O'Brien, who's a, a brilliant writer, who's actually also a hunter, um, is uh, advocating that people stop taking what he calls grip and grins. What a grip and grin is like, say, if you shot a beautiful deer, you're holding the deer up by the antlers and you're smiling. Yeah. And he's advocating that those photos are problematic because people who don't hunt look at it like you're some bloodthirsty asshole that's super happy that something died. And that's not, even though that's not how the people feel when they're taking those photos, what there are is happy that something which is very difficult, which, you know, especially using a bow, most people go home empty handed. It's, right. It requires too much fitness physical fitness because you're going up and down these mountains it requires too much uh, accuracy and training and technique and archery most people fuck it up and then there's dealing with anxiety most people fuck it up but after it's all over there's this great feeling of elation right you did it i can't believe it came together wow because it was probably not going to come together and people get happy now these are people again that already accept hunting now if you take someone who is an animal rights activist or someone who deeply appreciates animals and then you show them that photo they have a completely different association with what that photo means what that photo means is here's an asshole who's a trophy hunter okay, who but, shot but this let, me, thing. let me get my thing out i don't know any species that celebrates a kill for food with glee chimps uh, do chimps. oh sorry sorry you're right yeah when they kill a monkey they get pretty happy well then they do it socially and then they yeah. they share it um uh, you know through altruism they scream at each other yeah 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 yeah. yeah. so that's uh, but chimps are my least favorite species almost of all <laughs> they're, they're horrible so terrifying they're the worst yeah they're terrifying little fuckers 